Right, and that's, I guess that's the other irony of the U.S. and the SEC being against uh, crypto, because it's sort of, it really um, resonates with the founding principles, free speech, yep. anti-censorship, and all of those good things that make the American experiment so unique and special. Crypto really embodies that. It's way more than just uh, technology. It's really a movement yeah. and ideology, and that's what brings us all together here. It's not just about you know the actual asset and whatnot. Um, so I think I think America is hopefully going to find its way back, but it's definitely taking a bit of a detour. Um, and you know, it takes someone like Elon to, to purchase Twitter, and what he's done for for free speech on the internet is a remarkable thing. Crypto is this money layer on the internet, right? And so it's really important how it's regulated and how it interacts when it goes into TradFi or the fiat banking system. And uh, not all jurisdictions view it equally. Right. And, you know, it's also the, we talk about the separation of money and state. And as you mentioned, uh, crypto is very much opt in, it's not forced or coerced, or there's no legal obligation to use things like Bitcoin, it's all emergent and voluntary, which is very powerful when you think about it, because other forms of fiat money, you're basically forced to, to use it and opt in. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're consent as opposed to coercion. Right. And, it, and money's in the purview of the state, and it's been used to control population for um, a very long time. And so fiat is by decree, it's by fiat, you must accept our money, pay your taxes in, in US dollars, if you're merchant, accept US dollars, or you go to jail. Um, whereas, of course, Bitcoin is organic, it's, it's free, it's high demand, there's no coercive, it's totally consensual money.